welcome to another Thrifty Thursday! This is what I got this week at the thrift store. It wasn't so much, but I got some treasures. So, this Thrifty Thursday, I'm going to need your help because I don't know what something is. But let's get started. So, I've been really going through my cookbooks and I donated some of them to the thrift store because they were short in some books. And so I thought I would donate some ones that I haven't really had any interest in. And in the last year, I've been really trying to be more focused on buying books that I actually know I'm going to use. And not that they just look nice, but actually I'm going to use them. So this one's called Better Homes and Gardens Potluck Favorites. And I actually went through the book while I was at the thrift store. Got a lot of recipes. I'm going to be making a lot of them coming up here in the next couple weeks. So this cookbook is going to be our major cookbook that we're going to be using. It was $2.00. It's a little high, but I thought it's a book that I'm really going to use and I can use it to make videos with. So, not only do you get to benefit from the $2 cookbook, but I can make videos and I earn money. So, I earn money on the cookbook. And that's one thing I've been really trying to do. Whenever I buy something, I want to buy something that I can make a video that you guys can all be blessed by it and that I can actually turn a little bit of an income from it. So, two dollars is not bad when you can turn that into some income and then I got two flannel um, pillowcases now I really want to thank a friend and she knows who she is I don't know if she cares if I say her name but I had a wish list for two flannel pillowcases about four pillows and so I really like having uh, different pillowcases because I change my pillowcases maybe twice a week three times a week and I wash the bedding once a week but these were 50 cents and they're 50 cents each and they hardly ever have flannel pillowcases so between what she gave me and what I have here and a bed set that I have I have good amount of pillowcases so I got them and it was a dollar for the two then I got for dollar fifty I got this now I really wanted this this is a vintage tin can and it is a measuring cup. I really wanted one of these. It's something that I've been wanting for a long time. In fact, a can like this used to be on Little House in the Prairie. And when Mama Ingalls would do some baking. So, <laughs> I know. I, I just wanted it. <laughs> and I'll be using it too. See, I use everything. I don't just display it. I use it. So the last thing is my rooster. Or chicken. Sorry, it's a hen. Okay. So it was 50 cents. Now, I know I think it goes over a basket, and I think this is holes that you can put your hands in to get rolls. So, is this to put over top of a basket? And then you open this up to get to reach the rolls out of it? If I am wrong, could somebody tell me what this is used for? You know I like chickens. <laughs> so there's my chicken Woo -hoo. Cook, 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 cook. <laughs> anyhow I don't know so let me know if you uh, if you could tell me if I'm right so I'm gonna have to try to find a basket that this fits but I thought it was adorable and I assume it was homemade and it was 50 cents well there you go it's my thrifty Thursday I'm not sure what's gonna be on the next part of this video but I hope you enjoy it I have yet to decide what I'm going to use for the second half of this video, but it's going to have something to do with being thrifty, I'm sure. <laughs> so, let's get started on the rest of the video. Oh, I know, you're all going to laugh at me now, but this is the chicken. I put my homemade soap in it, so I can... <laughs> so, I know it's not made for that, but I'm going to use it for now to hide all of my homemade soap for in my dishes. A video is coming up where I'm making my soap. These are for washing dishes. It's homemade soap for dishes. That's coming up soon. But there you go. So that's what I'm using it for for now. You know me. I always come up with the strangest ideas. I know. <laughs> I'm just going to take a moment to share with you a few things that I got in my mailbox. A lot of people really enjoy seeing the things that subscribers have made me or have given me. I'm just going to share with you what I got. So let me put the camera down and I'll show you. I really enjoy your letters 
and they encouraged me so much. And the first thing I want to share with you is I got a card, and it's so beautiful. You guys have so many beautiful cards that you pick out, and I really want to thank you for them. This box here comes from a friend of mine who has been a friend of me for a long time. Owen has been on my channel pretty much since day one. Many of you know Owen. Many of you have known Owen through all of his comments that he gives me. Owen has watched every single video that I have made. That is over 1,100 videos. This is what Owen got me. He always has a sweet little card. Now, I don't know what all he got me. I just opened the top of the box. Owen knows that I love vintage linens. And so, Owen has lived in his home, I think, most of his life. And he takes care of his mother, who is in her 90s. And he has all of these linens for me. <laughs> and it's so sweet of him because he knows that I really use them. So, Owen, I really want to thank you so much for the beautiful fabric. Wow, isn't that so pretty? Owen knows that I like brown, and I think Owen probably knows more about me than most people do. Owen, thank you so much. Oh, look at these. Aren't they bright and cheery? That is adorable. Owen sends me a box every once in a while over the course of a year. Owen lives near the beach and so he wanted to give me something from the beach. Oh, they are so precious. Look at the seashells. Thank you so much, Owen. Owen also knows me because he knows I love jars and he saves all of these jelly jars for me as you know in all of my videos I'll just show one but look how he painstakingly wraps every single thing so he gives me these jars and he always packs the lid separate thank you so much oh oh and I really like this rug uh, this is neat. I love that rug. I'm going to actually use that right away, put it in my kitchen. These are unique. I cannot believe these. I have, they are so neat for candles, which I'll be doing next week. I don't know where he got them. I don't know what they were for, but they are amazing. I don't know if he had them or if he bought them. But thank you so much, Owen. I will be making candles this for me, too. I need that. I need that in a canning garage. So, Owen, thank you so much for everything. But most of all, Owen, I really want to thank you for your friendship. Your friendship means a lot to me. You have been with me through a lot here on YouTube, and I really want to thank you. I also received this gift, and It is beeswax. <laughs> this was actually on my wish list. Thank you so much. Um, I really want to thank you. I want to thank you, Alice. Thank you so much. As you know, I will be a good steward of this. And as you know, I will bless others by sharing it in my videos. So thank you so much, Alice. All right, and I got two boxes. I don't know what they are, so I'm going to open them up. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. I don't know. Linda, you did it again. Linda, thank you so much. Did you notice that I didn't have one for every tray? Linda, you shouldn't have done that. So Linda got me these that go with my dehydrator. 
Somehow she must have noticed that I didn't have one for every tray, and I don't. Thank you so much. A subscriber, her dehydrator broke, and so she just gave me the trays for it, and I didn't have these. Linda, I had no idea. Thank you so much, Linda, for these. Thank you so much. That really is kind of you, really. And then I have one other box from Deborah. It's a heavy box. So, I don't know what it is, but I'm guessing it could be books. I don't know, but I'm gonna open it up here. Let me open it off the camera here. I don't want nobody seeing addresses. Boy, Deborah, you have this really taped. <laughs> I love how you guys just like tape stuff up so hard. My guess was right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I do believe that somebody is a book lover like me. Lancaster County cookbooks. <laughs> oh, you girls are something else. The Betty Crocker picture one. Oh my word. You have no clue, Deborah. Grandma Fanny had one of these and I don't have it. I don't have this one and this is the one she had. How did you know this is what I wanted? Oh my word, this is just unreal. Unreal. The other Betty Crocker one. <laughs> oh my word. Look, a vintage magazine. Taste of home. I don't have any of these. I have none of these. Gooseberry Patch. Pillsbury Kitchen's Family Cookbook. Thank you so much, Deborah. I didn't have any of these. What an amazing thing. And thank you so much for the card. Wow. How am I going to get my work done now when I have these new books to look at? Oh my word. So neat. Thank you guys so much. It's just, it's just been so amazing and so much fun. And all of these older and vintage things and all your love and support and kindness, you know, it just reaffirms to me there's so much good in this world, so much kindness. And it brings me back to a time when the first month that I started my YouTube channel, my very first mean comment was, that there, there's no such thing as, as friends on the internet. Friends aren't really friends unless you see them in person. <laughs> Boy, are they ever wrong. You can have a friend on the internet. In fact, you can have a friend that sticketh closer than the brother from the internet. Take care, everyone. God bless you. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>